My name is Xavier and welcome back to this disastrous, disastrous nonsense I call RimWorld Episode 6. So right off the bat, I need to do a few very important things. Number one, we see Christine's going in here. Let's check everyone's health. Hermione's wounded. Is that going to be alright? Uh, nope. She'll be dead in 17 hours, but Christine's taking care of it. No idea how she got wounded. Christine herself is going to be dead in 19 hours. Zanai is looking okay. Where the heck is Zanai? Out here. Let's take them all off combat mode. Same deal. Constantine, you're out. Ash, you're out. Great. Wow, okay. Ash is hypothermia. Uh, Zanai's fine. Addison, death in 24 hours, but uh, hopefully Christine will get to that in just a second. As soon as Hermione's taken care of, my father's looking good. But then someone has to take care of Christine, which is going to have to be my father. So, since he's a good doctor, or nurse rather, let's set him to number two on doctoring. That'll help quite a bit. Let's take Christine off of cooking. Because we now have Ash to take care of that if he's done hunting. Is there something for him to hunt? I forget now. It's been like a day or two since I played. Uh, was there beavers anywhere? I can't remember. The number one priority of this episode is get everyone stabilized and then start getting defenses in because obviously any more raids and we're done. Like we are done. Pretty much. I think... I think I was hunting these things. I remember the hunting elk. Don't know where they all went. It looks like they're all dead. Major break risk. Let's take care of this right now. Ash? What's his issue? Feeling terrible. He ate raw food. He's in an ugly environment. We can probably clean that up. Share shared bedroom. Can't do anything about that right now. Observe corpse. Can't do anything about that. Awful batter. Can't do anything about that. We'll, we'll take care of it soon. My father looks like he's almost sleeping outside. That's not good. He's like sleeping in the cold. Uh, let's check on Christine now. She's tending to Ash. What about Addison? Like, I know Addison is actually the one who has issues here. Nope, it looks like Christine took care of that. All bandage up, great. So once Christine takes care of... Ash, I think at that point we can probably have her take care of... or have her go to bed and have my father take care of her. Great. So I'm not too concerned. I just don't... I want to make sure I don't screw this up and let Christine die like I let Caviar, myself, and Dagar all die. Zanai, you're bleeding and playing horseshoes, friend, out in the snow. I mean, all right, you gotta keep your, uh, your, what is it, um, mental fortitudes up somehow. You are in severe pain, so I don't know how well you're doing there. And it looks like you're not hitting the, what is this thing called, a stick, I guess? Is there a technical name for that? Am I insulting the horseshoe community right now? Uh, regardless, Sanai is going back to bed after a brief round of horseshoes. That's fine. What's Christine up to, though? Tending to wins. That's great. That's my father. Once he's tended to, I can have him tend to her. We're completely out of medicine at this point, and it looks like we're actually running out of herbal meds. This is extremely concerning. So concerning that I'm actually going to delete this field. Let's put in a new growing zone. The top growing zone is going to be for rice, not potatoes. We want rice that grows much faster. Then I want to put in the bottom growing zone, and that's going to be heal root because we desperately need some healing. We only have one of these. I'd like to get more, uh, but we need to have that grown first. All right, Christine, what's your deal now? You're up to 16 hours. My father looks like he's tended to. Great, what are you doing? Don't play horseshoes. Just please go to bed. I mean, how's your, how's your... You're doing okay. Happily nude, attended a party, very low expectation. Nuzzled! Who nuzzled? A cute animal nuzzled me. She's so happy about that. Experiencing acute pain. You know, it would really help if you just went to bed, because you are bleeding horrifically. Kind of making a, a giant mess, but... Oh no, my father cannot break. He cannot break. Wearing, wearing one out of apparel, dead man's toque, colonist died in darkness. Slept in the cold, slept outside, feeling bad, in a little pain, ugly environment, disturbed sleep. Yeah, all right. Never mind all this, Christine. We're gonna have to... How could I make you go to bed? Why can't I... Why does it say various? Just Christine. This is her bed. Huh. All right, well, somehow I can't prioritize her resting. I have a feeling my father is going to have a mental break here, but you know what we could do? Is actually assign him this bed? And then he'll at least be out of the cold. He'll, he'll have woken up, of course, but he'll at least be out of the cold. We have no meals whatsoever. Uh, let's take Ash off hunting number one priority, put cooking number one priority. Just for now, until we get some meals going. Again, we're super low on food, not even sure how I'm going to handle that. 
Christine is down to 13 hours. She really needs to take a nap here. Why is she tending to Zanai instead of sleeping? Is my question. And why can't I make her go rest? Do I need to set a medical bed? That actually might be it. Can I set this to medical? And then could I tend? Yes, I can. Rest until healed. Okay. As soon as she's done with Zanai, we'll send her in there. We'll have my father come tend to her, and hopefully she won't die. And... Okay. I don't know why she's still tending to Zanai. My father's fully healed. That's good. Oh, God. Mental break. Berserk. Who is this? Priscilla Pirate has gone berserk. Nothing we can do about that. What is Christine doing to Zanai? Please, go rest until you're healed, you doofus. You're almost dead. Now we have a massive fight going on in here. No one even had the time to escort Wouter. Zanai, what are you doing in the medical bed? What's weird? I didn't know that could be a case. Let's bring my father over here. Prioritize. Already doctoring. Okay, good. I was really worried about that. She's down to 11 hours. Looks like Priscilla beat up Bell. Bell's now got all kinds of wounds. Major break risk on Ash. Priscilla has gone berserk. Yeah, we know that. She's trying to break out, actually. This is not good. Can I have someone arrest her? Ash, I realize you're resting, but... Can you even do anything about this? I don't think so. If I put you on fighting mode... Well, can I then melee attack, go here? Nope, I can't. Okay, never mind. We'll just have to live with that. Is Wouter dying, or is he just sleeping on the ground? He's in extreme pain. He's not dying. He's okay. God, just, just, just handling all of these issues is a major concern right now. My father is indeed taking care of Christine, though. And uh, there it goes. Okay, one cut's fixed up. Oh my god. Pris no! Priscilla's breaking out! Ash, we need you over here right now. Go here. Fire Priscilla. Cannot hit target. I how do we deal with this? Uh... I don't know. I thought you could arrest these people, but I don't think you can. At this point, I think the door is destroyed? So that means everyone else can escape tomorrow if we don't get a door put in. Let's get a new door put in, like... Whoa, Ash, what are you doing? Okay, she was shot to death! No! <laughs> she was my only good fighter! Or she was gonna be when I rescued her. Damn it! Alright, well, she was berserk. We had to put her down. That sucks, though. Someone needs to build this door right now. Constantine, I realize it's the middle of the night and you're sleeping, but... Cannot work on door, need materials. We need someone to cut wood. Uh, oh my god, this is just... Let's get some orders. Uh, let's cut some plants. We'll cut some of these plants. Great. Someone needs to cut them right now. Ash really has to cook the meals. Unfortunately, he's nothing left to cook meals with. So, Constantine, I'm sorry, friend. You're gonna have to wake up and go cut trees in the middle of the night. I know that's insane. Especially considering the circumstances, but we need this door together or I think our two remaining people are gonna break out. Plus it's cold in there now? It does seem like they're both unconscious though. Come on, Constantine. Chop that tree like you mean it. What a mess this is. Uh, Constantine, prioritize working on wooden door. Yep, grab that. Good, put in the door. Fantastic. Alright, well... This sucks to the extreme, but... Everyone's in warm conditions. Everyone who is wounded is bandaged. No one's in immediate risk of death. Ash is at least, uh, actually no. Look at the temperature in here. It's only indoors 31. Outdoors is negative three. In here is 68. Why is it so... Why is it so cold over here? Indoors 34. Oh, because I had the vent here, and it was venting outside because Priscilla went out and broke the door, so all the cold air was going out the door. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, starvation, Addison, yep, that's fine, we have some nice uncooked rice for you, friend. What a mess. I have corpses everywhere. Uh, this is a superior pila, though, we could actually prioritize all this stuff to being picked up at least. All these corpses are just sitting out here. Hopefully they get hauled over to the cat eating pile. And major break risk. This is going to be Addison. What can I do about that? Awful bedroom colonist died. Innocent prisoner died. Ugly environment. Joy deprived. Ate raw food. Experiencing acute pain. Nothing I can do about really any of that stuff. We just have to, to deal with it. Addison's going back to rest. Ash is now waking up after a nap, that's great. He's like the only one who's gonna hold this colony together right now. Maybe, if he doesn't break. 
He really needs to just cook. If he can get some things cooked, we'll be much better off. <sighs> okay, a bit of a breather here. So let's uh, accelerate the time. And... What's my father up to? He's feeding simple meal. That's good. Tend to the prisoners. Maybe give them a bed. This one's unowned, so... Actually, I think I wanted to have him come over here. Is, are these rooms warmer now? 35, 42? Not really. They're warming up, but... 50? This one's 40. Yeah, they're getting there. Okay, water's back up now. At least he's getting in bed. How's Belle doing? Okay, she's not gonna die anyway. Christine and Zanai are talking in bed while healing. Having some good chats, at least keeping their spirits up. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could make a huge medical bed and have, like, wounded people talking to each other while they're in there. That's kind of cool, actually. Awful hospital. <laughs> Alright, my father's tending to wounds. Constantine's building some walls. We're getting things together here. What do I need to do? Constantine's building a second heater in here. That's pretty important. I feel like what's also very important is getting these rooms done so we can get people into respective bedrooms, then get things cleaned up, and then I have to queue up walls. And I know it's gonna take- Constantine, what are you- what are you doing, dude? You're going up here to get components? Alright, that's actually probably pretty important for the heaters. Addison's on a major break risk. And there's really nothing we can do besides clean the room. You know what? It wouldn't be bad. Nice, my father's getting rid of corpses so people don't have to see them. I keep trying to do like little micromanagey things, like, okay, let's clean up Addison's room, but then every time I grab someone, cheering up patient, my father's gonna go cheer up Addison. What a good nurse. That's fantastic. That doesn't seem like anything he'd do in real life, but hey, that's, that's fine. So Constantine's got this heater going in. Good. He's hauling granite chunk. Constantine, can you please prioritize chopping some of these trees? and then finishing these walls so we can get some legitimate things going on here. Uh, while we're at it, I'm going to need to finish putting these things together. We're gonna need vents in this room and this room, since the, the walls will be done in just a minute. Then we're gonna need another heater in probably this room here. Looks like that'll be connected if we put it there. And then we're going to need some lights. I'm, I'm playing at like one time speed right now, because I feel like everything's falling apart. And if I even attempt to go any faster, uh, the whole game is ruined. Let's put a light up there and a light down there. Alright, did either one of those actually get power? This one did not, and that one did not, so we're gonna probably need to line in some power conduits. Which we can do... Uh, something like that. We'll probably hit this one, and then up there we'll hit that one. Okay! Constantine, please finish these walls. Very good, we have another room there. Another room, perfect. Almost, he's got a little bit more wood to go, but we're getting there. Ash is making the meals, so we can at least have, perfect, up to 20 meals. Let's check on the health of everyone. Christine's looking good, Zanai's looking good, Addison's looking good. Now it's almost time to get people uh, in better spirits. So as soon as my father, whoa, 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 cowboy is being attacked by Timberwolf. Cowboy has been bitten to death. What the? What the? Dude, Ash, get out here! For God's sakes! Little cowboy! Little cowboy was just killed by a timber wolf and freaking brutally eaten in the street! Where did this guy come from? Where's my animals? Let's assign them to Ash. He's like the de facto hunter. He should probably have them both anyway. Um, he needs animals three to have that one. That's fine. Ash, get over here. Let's just- this is it. This thing is dead. Freaking screw this timber wolf. Take cover behind this tree, not that it's gonna make any freaking difference. Roka will help you out a little bit here. Uh, great. Now fire at that timber wolf. Put him down. Put him down for his insolence. This is ridiculous. Nice. That's three full shots. You hit twice in a row. Nice. Fantastic work. Alright. Didn't even take a scratch, Ash. You are holding the fort down for us right now in a major, major, major way. Wow. Okay. Well, poor little cowboy, little kitten, just murdered by a timber wolf. Didn't even care. What's Constantine up to? He's consuming a meal, building a power conduit. That's not bad. Looks like we already put in the vents. 
but he did not finish cutting the trees. So let's prioritize him to cutting these trees. And also, let's give a few more orders here uh, to chop some more of these trees down. And then hopefully he can finish these because I think all this heat is being vented into this room, into this room, and then into this room, and then out through the walls that are not even there. This might get- whoa, 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 what's this fighting? Who's fighting? Oh! Oh, look at this! A lynx is coming over to assassinate the timber wolf! That's so weird. Do I want a lynx in the town, though? I mean, is that- is that really any better? That's probably worse. Will the lynx at least like the cats and not eat our little kittens? Guys, ah, oh, little cowboy was just eaten by a wolf, and now the wolf's getting eaten by a lynx. Anyway, there's an eclipse, who cares about that? Poor mood, Christine, what can we do about that? Oh, we, we put so much- oh my god, she lost all of her mood buffs. All of them. She is 100% negative, we have to deal with this environment right now. My father's tending to Bell, but once that's done, I think we can have him clean. Feeding simple meal to Christine, alright, maybe once that's done? Also, note that we have literally no food components whatsoever remaining. The only thing we're gonna be able to live on right now is things that we hunt. And as soon as my father's done feeding Christine here, let's grab him very quickly. Let's clean the room up. So the hospital at least isn't super awful. Like, that'll be a huge help. Uh, back to Constantine. He's hauling components to build a heater. That's not a bad idea. But I do want to get this, uh, these walls done. Where's he going now? No, 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 we don't have time for you to rest, Constantine. You've got to heal these with Psychic Drone. Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Sure, because now is a great time for that to happen. Please get these walls done. Nice. No, Constantine, prioritize building uh, the wall. Just, just finish it. You're almost done. 99% done. Great. Actually, Constantine, whoops, wrong button. Build a roof, because I think that the heat's going out of the roof, and I'm gonna have to do this micromanagey, like super, super micromanagey style. But, I think, that's it. I think this is all enclosed. Is this indoors now? Nope, it's unroofed. Breakdown battery, sure. That's fine, someone will take care of that. We have power for the night. That'll at least keep us heated. Volcanic winter, good lord. A distant super volcano has erupted and begun spewing millions of cubic kilometers of ash into the atmosphere. Ash will obscure the sun Temperatures will drop and plants will suffer. It's already the middle of winter. So this is gonna last a few weeks or it might last many months. We're gonna have very little solar power, uh, which is very bad because we have no, f no wood to power our uh, wood generators, fuel generators. Uh, our, one of our batteries is out and we're gonna have no growing. It's gonna be even colder than it is, which means we're gonna need more electricity. Uh, yeah. I'm seeing about 4,000 issues. Zanai, what's your deal? Relaxing socially. Sorry, friend. I need you to clean blood. I mean, the blood's out of control. We need everything cleaned everywhere. Just clean. Just clean. Please clean everything. Clean every one of these rooms like it, like your life depended on it, because it kind of does, actually. If anyone breaks right now, we're out. But, actually, no one's at a major break risk. We're down to just four minor break risks. Not bad. So nice taking care of all this blood. Cleaning up at least the basic rooms. At the very, very, very least, there's a little bit more blood there, friend. Okay, cargo boss landed. Hopefully they have like 700 people who can help us out with this or like robot maids. Do they? Uh, nope, it looks like they actually just had panoxylene or something. I don't even know what that is. I think it uh, prevents infection, which is probably pretty useful for us. Mental Break Berserk Bell. How did Bell get a shield? A shield? She has a personal shield. How the heck? And she has an armor vest. That's not good. Let's, let's, can we strip her? Doesn't look like it. No, don't kill Wouter. Now we have, like, why can't I have people do anything about this? Like, subdue them or something. If I come over here with Ash, she's just gonna shoot her to death. So she's probably gonna break down the door. All right, Zanai, can you come in here and um, take some hits? You have a shield generator and a sword. Maybe she'll think twice if you come in there. Clean up the room because obviously they're going berserk. Nope, that's not working very well. Zanai, what are you doing? You're just getting punched? 
That's it? You're just gonna get punched to death by, by Bell? I don't understand what's happening here. Okay, did you... Bell's Berserk Rage has come to an end. Is she dead? No. She's just in restraints and incapacitated. Good lord! We've got to get these prisoners under control here. The time, the game, everything is bad. Let's build, once again, another door. We'll have to get Constantine on priority for building this. Prioritize building work door. Sorry, Constantine, to interrupt your chat, but it needs to be done. Which sucks, because he really could have used that chat. But, 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 oh, no, finally, Christine is tending to Wouter, getting him into his own room. I think I set that up like three days ago. In here, he should be much better off and stop getting beaten to death by Bell. And then, I remember Wouter was actually a really high chance to recruit. Let's check again if that's still the case. 52%, yes. How about Bell? 81%. It's gonna take forever to recruit Bell, but Wouter, uh, not such a big issue. If we can get him on the team, that'll help a huge amount. Especially, as I recall, isn't he like a grower or something? Medicine, growing, research, yeah, crafting, he'd be great. Ash is getting to butchering. Breakdown, heater, okay, that's, yep, fine. Someone can get on these things eventually, I don't know who. Someone needs to be on construction, is anyone? Constantine has it on two, yeah, he'll, he'll get to it. Replacing broken components and battery, he's actually doing it right now. Whew, okay. Well, we're getting things together. Bell's getting tended to. Zanai's getting tended to. We're almost... Oh, no. There goes all the power. Oh, God. Oh, we need someone to cut... We need someone to cut plants right now. My father, please stop tending to Zanai. Or the second that you are done tending to him, we're gonna make you go cut plants. Because we can't have everyone freezing to death. Re oh, actually, he's doing it right now. Refueling fuel generator. I was gonna go make him uh, chop trees. We're probably going to need to build another source of power. Actually, no. What are you doing, friend? Father, no. You need to refuel this generator. But that probably means... Cutting trees, which you won't do. So, let's have Constantine do it. Because, uh, without the power from that second generator, we're not going to have enough... I mean, he's building a heater, or fixing a heater right now. But what good is that going to do if we're out of power? Looks like we do have a little bit of a surplus, but not enough. I feel like I'm just, um, like I've been playing for 23 minutes and I've done nothing but attempt, desperately attempt, to keep people alive. Rice plant died because of cold. Oh, someone's actually growing the rice. Good. Addison's chopping trees. That's good. What's Constantine's done this one tree? I want him to prioritize refueling this generator so we can get the power fixed up. Great, and then we can have him prioritize. He's already doing it. Fixing this heater, then we can turn this light on, maybe, and then actually grow some... Oh, new recruit! Christine successfully recruited Bell. 0.9% chance. Christine, you are the best! Thank you so much! That's awesome! That was the harder one to recruit of the two. Uh, so who do we want to rename Bell to? Let's, uh... Let's take a look at... Her stats. It looks like animals, crafting, research... Pyromaniac, chemical fascination, incapable of artistic. I don't know who this sounds like. Female colonist. I don't have anyone here for females. Let's call this. Hmm. I'm gonna call it. Uh, I only have one request for a female character amongst the patrons. We're gonna call it Ocean. Uh, I think it's o, o C E A N. Yeah, that's how you do it. Great. Huge help right there. So that's gonna. Allow us to craft and research. Who's on crafting? Christine, she really can't do that. Let's instead have ocean crafting pretty high. Put patient, num patient number one, bed rest number one. I guess it doesn't make any difference. She can probably flick, she's not that important. Handling probably one above everything else. And then we definitely want crafting number two. That'll be the first person to make like all the parkers that we've been needing to be made for a long time. Also the, the stone blocks. And because we'll have stone blocks pretty soon, I can then actually get someone... Let's put research a little bit, uh, or put cleaning and hauling a little bit lower. Uh, but one thing I really wanted to do in this episode, above everything else, is get some real defenses going, because I cannot withstand the next raid. Also, what's Ocean's fighting skill? Shooting three. That's probably good enough to equip that other assault rifle we have. Maybe even a pistol? Uh, hopefully Christine recruits Wouter and we'll be, uh, we'll be on 
on the road to recovery, as they say. The road to recovery. So, we're making blocks now. What are these blocks? These are slate blocks. What I want to do is start a slate wall. I want to encompass the camp uh, and make actual defenses. And make like a, I think an entranceway right probably here to get in and out. So let's do something like this. Why can't I, why can't I build there? The terrain here cannot, oh, is that a marsh? I can't even see the marsh. How am I supposed to know? Um, where does it tell me what kind of tile this is? Oh, on the bottom left. Marsh, marsh, marsh. Lichen covered dirt. Soil, soil. All right. Well, it'd be much easier to do this in the summer when it, the snow wasn't covering everything. So I guess I'm just going to have to wing it, which might take a little bit of time. But let's try that. I think the gate that I want, we can actually use the marsh as a gate, so they have to come in through the marsh and be slow. That's not a bad idea. Uh, and then we can just continue it down like this, although I would I would prefer... Actually, let me think here. I would prefer if it were more something like this. A continuous wall. We can come straight down to there, straight over to here. That'll be the one entry exit point. And let's make this just slightly more symmetrical by doing it like that. And we'll have a very, very, very narrow opening where everyone has to come in through marsh. Or go out through the marsh. Which will which will slow us down too, going out there. Unless I want to make another one down here. Which kind of makes sense. I guess I could have two entrances or maybe another one down here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh, look at all these elk we can hunt. We definitely want to do that because we're short on all kinds of resources, right? We just have some meat, but we have enough meat to survive for right now and make simple meals, so that's fine. Pristine sex recruited bell, we already did that. Unhappy nudity. Ocean. These colonists are nude and not happy about it. Okay. We can take care of that. Since uh, Ocean is now the constructor of stuff, we just need to make some pants and we're good. So let's queue up some another set of pants. And I think that's fine. Now, let's finish up this wall. I have some ideas here. I have big ideas. God, this is going to take forever to build this wall. I think there's a marsh right here, right? So can I even do that? No. Ah. Uh, I really need to be able to see what I'm doing in order to make these walls. Can I put a wall over here, maybe? Yes. So let's let's queue that up. And then we'll make an entrance point, like right here. I think three, four, three, three tiles wide, maybe? And then I'll put some sandbags in there later, and we can get some defenses, and people will have to come in, and we'll shoot them as they come in. But otherwise, I think that's as good as we can do for that. We'll finish building up this wall. This is going to take forever, because I am so... I don't even have close to enough materials for this. We'll go as far as we can, which is up to here. And then I'll just kind of wing this until I can figure it out and we'll delete the rest. Alright, that's not so bad. Sorry if this episode is super boring and micromanagey. I feel as though uh, it needed to be done. There has to be at least one episode where I just recover and try not to die horrifically. So that's good, and we can have another wall, like right here, we'll, we'll move this thing later. I think that's fine. Good! One, two, three. So if that ever gets built, which is going to be a very tall order, we'll have a bunch of entrance points, we can guard them, and we can actually maybe defend against the siege a little bit better. Down here, this is actually all marsh, so I kind of want to leave this open to entice them to come in rather than go around through the gates and stuff. I don't know who's going to build this or when. Wow, Christine's sleeping outside in the cold, right? Is this cold? Indoors, nine degrees. No, it's not. It's just really, really, really cold. Hopefully, Constantine gets on that once he's done relaxing socially. He's building a roof. Good. And now he's building the heater. And that should... If it gets power, which it should any second now, it should actually have power, right? No. It doesn't have power because this thing right here... As soon as Constantine's done eating, we have to prioritize building this power conduit so that gets power. Everything else looks like it has power. Prioritize building the power conduit, friend. Yeah, and then that'll that'll take care of everything. This'll all be heated. We'll have no floors in there. Uh, we can queue some up later. Right now is really not the time. God, Zanai and Ocean are still wounded. What is the deal here? 
Malnutrition trivial. We're taking care of that. Bruise. These are all 30, 25 out of 30, 37 out of 40. So that will be up pretty soon. Ocean's going to be a while because there was a huge amount of fights in that uh, hideous barracks. 27 out of 30, 22. Yeah, not bad. Ocean's looking pretty good. Major break risk wins. What's his deal? Oh, probably he's busy hauling corpses and cleaning up blood is his deal, I'm guessing. Let's see. Dead man's two, colonist died, wearing one out of peril, observed corpse, barracks, disturbed sleep, slept in cold, innocent prisoner died. We're getting on the we're getting on the slept in cold thing. We have some water rooms here, we have heat. Hopefully this heat will melt the snow. Ugly environment. Someone will take care of that. Let's see if we have anyone set to cleaning on a high priority. We do. We have Addison after plant cutting and handling. And we also have my father after hauling and cleaning. Or hauling, rather. So, he, right now he's busy hauling, which is fine. Then he'll get to cleaning. He'll get to it pretty soon. There's not too much hauling to do. Constantine is actually getting to work on these walls, surprisingly. That's going to take an extremely long time. Christine is butchering the dead beavers from 400 years ago. Great. That'll get our food supplies back up. Animals are just eating the raw meat. Oh, whoa, 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 what, what? That stupid lynx just ate Andalusia. Who the heck was Andalusia? Where is this? It sounded like it was nearby. How do I, how do I find out where that was? I gotta, I gotta hunt this lynx. It's a freaking, it's a menace to the society. It must be put down. Where the heck is it, though? Is there a way to search in this game? I've never had to look this long to find something. It sounded like it was right around here someplace. I like how we have all this corpse, these corpse, this giant corpse pile here for the cats. Unfortunately, the cats, like, the cats are their own pile. Let's extend that so we can get the extra corpses in. Uh, by which I mean, like, the cats keep getting eaten by lynxes and stuff. Hey, is this thing up and heated? It's 33 in there, that's warm enough. If we turn this on, will we have the power? Answer, barely. Yes, we can do that. Let's, uh, let's toggle the power back on. But we're probably gonna need another source of power, because as soon as- Oh, there's the lynx! I found it! As soon as the sun goes down, we're gonna have a, a big draw. Let's bring- this is gonna be a big issue up here. Let's bring a couple people. Who can even fight? Nobody has any gear. Addison dropped his weapon. Constantine. Sorry, friend. Come over here. We need you. Let's get everyone ready. We have Roka over here now. As soon as Constantine gets in, we're gonna go like a straight up a murder. Melee attack the Lynx. Ash, get a little bit closer. And then fire at the Lynx. Finish that thing up. Okay, good. It looked like Ash just shot Constantine one tile away. I'm not sure. Is that true? No. It looked like it hit him, but it didn't actually do anything. Well, that menace is gone two cats later. Uh, or I guess one cat, because the wolf killed the other one, but... At least we still have little Gavril. Did we have more kittens and I didn't notice? L Flipper! We have little Flipper! And Ghostface is still about... That's nice. Archie, god, it's a rough world in this here rim world. Kittens do not have a high survival rate, unfortunately. Hauling Val. Good job. My father's taking care of the corpse hauls. Great. Now he's tending to Constantine. Constantine got a little bit wounded there, but not much. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine. Everything's fine. Beavers are getting pulled in. Meals are being prepped. Food is being accumulated. Ash even has time to research? How the heck did that happen? I guess he's not set to anything else. You know what? We're gonna need, um... Actually, I'm not sure if we're gonna need mining. He could mine if we wanted to have him do it. If there were mining, we may as well set him to do it. There's also no hunting to do, but you know what we could do for him is hunt all of these elk. Select them all and hunt. Link's Revenge, that's fine, it's dead. So Christine has tattered apparel. She only has one thing, so we know- wait, it's not tattered. Why does she have tattered apparel? Oh, Constantine has tattered apparel. Which looks like, uh, the shield generator. Unfortunately, I think that's alright, he'll have to- he'll have to deal with that. And my father, what's his deal? He still has bad pants, a bad parka, and a bad shirt. I think I queued stuff up for him like four episodes ago, and just no one's gotten to do it. 
Although, you know what? At the point we're at right now... Well, who's shooting? Oh, that must be Ash. Yeah, he's down here hunting these elk. Okay. At the point we're at now with my father, I do feel as though... We're gonna have to do something with his clothing. Like, he keeps going into major break risks. So, let's get him th the basic gear that he needs. Which is a shirt and pants. It looks at this thing, we have pants queued up, and a shirt queued up. We need someone to make that shirt, that's gonna be tailoring. And that's gonna be Ocean when he gets out of bed. It's not gonna be Christine, because I think she's busy with other stuff, right? Should I be having her do art now, because other people can do crafting and stuff? And tailoring? Yeah. I think so. Let's put uh, Ocean on two for tailoring. Christine can come off of tailoring or go to four. She could put art back up to two. We have to keep her happy. Like, the whole society rests on her being alive and well. And I don't think she needs to cook anymore because we have, we have Ash up and alive ready to do that. But she can go to maybe like three so she can butcher in case Ash is like backed up. But it looks like he's actually doing fine on food because he had time to research. And, yeah. How's the- all the snow did melt in these rooms. 64 over here, 57, 57, and 61. And this room's not even being used anymore. Water's in his own room. Which means we can probably split up the beds in the near future. Like, Winds, Ash, Constantine, why don't we give this to somebody? Uh, my father could use his own room. Because he's been kind of whining about all kinds of stuff lately. And then we just need to get Ash and Constantine into their own rooms. You know what? We could actually set this room. But that's not for prisoners. Let's set the owner to Constantine. And then great. So everybody has their own room. Except down here. Where the heck did Christine go? Up there? Alright, yeah. So for the most part, I think everyone has their own room. We're going to be short by one. Or are we? Yeah, we are. We're so we're still behind on the rooms then. No, we can't be, because there's four, five, six, seven, eight, and I have eight rooms. So it must be it must be fine. Everything's fine. How's the power doing? We're losing two thousand, uh, and that's exactly as much as this sun lamp, so we're gonna have to shut that off if we want the heat to stay on all night. And we're gonna have to do something for power. How far away actually am I from researching thermal generators? Really far. So that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So let's consider then. The wind turbines are really imprecise. Like, what are they generating? Power output of 1,000. These things generate 1,000 all the time. They just take trees, and we have trees. So let's build more of them. I don't like building them, because then you have to, like, keep them up and running. But we, we need to do it. We just need to do it. And then let's queue up a few more mining operations on components, because we may need those in order to build the things that we just uh, queued up. Alright, well, we're alive. Um, we did get a defenses here in the in forms of five pieces of wall. I mean, I guess that's a thing. Nope, actually Constantine's down here building up a few pieces of wall. It takes forever to use the bricks to build these walls and to cut the bricks and everything else. So this is gonna be a really long operation. We're probably gonna die from a raid. Archie has been torn to death by a lynx! God damn it, lynx! Ash, get over here! Get over here right now. Constantine, I know you're building. This is insane. Little Archie, which is murdered by a lynx. I'm gonna go around and hunt every lynx on the frigging map. Actually, can they be can they be tamed? That would be really cool. Probably. Constantine failed while constructing. That's fine. Ash, come on up here. I know, guys. I know. It's another one of these things. Melee attack the lynx. Ash, get really close and fire at the lynx. Good job. Just execute this stupid thing. Perfect. Now Constantine, once again, has to go to bed for a wound from a lynx. A pretty bad one, too. A really deep scratch on his right foot. But whatever. Where else are there lynxes, is my question. I am so sick of these things eating my cats. Little Archie. That's three kittens we lost. Three. You know what I could have done, now that I think about it, is restrain the kittens? Because I think maybe the cats are big enough to defend themselves? I'm not sure. Maybe I could have had the kittens, like, restrained into the dining room. But then I'd have to feed them and deal with all that and etc. Let's just take a quick gander here for more links or anything else that can screw us over by eating our kitten. <gasps> Timberwolf! 
All right, we're gonna do it again. Ash, come on up. We need you up here. Screw Timberwolves. I, he's coming in for the kill. Hey, speaking of, look, a ship chunk. Let's deconstruct that. Good thing I actually had to go hunt this Timberwolf. Uh, let's bring Ash over here, maybe? I just, I do not want this stupid Timberwolf alive. Let's, f oh, come on. Let, I need to pause it for a second just so I can get the, the, there. Actually, command the thing. Execute that stupid wolf. Great. Hit it twice. It's mad. Hit it again. Great. Ash, you got this. Nice. How, d how, how deep is your cut? Bite, timber wolf. Not bad. It's actually just it kind of bad. But you'll, you'll be all right. You'll live. You just saved a kitten, Ash. You just saved little ghost face, most likely. Most likely. Any more wolves or lynx prowling in the area? It doesn't look like it. No. I think we're pretty safe for the moment. All right, well, at 41 minutes, I'm doing slightly longer episodes now, partly because they're fun and partly because uh, people ask for more. So why not add an extra five to 10 minutes on every episode? Uh, so while we're drug burning, I have no idea what that is. Personal shields, low food, need warm clothes, low medicine, colonist needs treatment, unhappy nudity, Tattered apparel. We're getting on that. We really are. I just need Ocean here to get out of bed. Ocean's been wounded forever, and soon enough, actually not very soon, she'll get healed up and then start making clothing, and that'll take care of most of our issues in terms of untattered or tattered apparel, warm clothing, and unhappy nudity. Most of these things will be cleared off. It is a volcanic winter at present. Negative three outside. Inside, we have 60, 50, 50, 60. This is 50. This is, I mean, it's cold, but it's, it's, it's livable. They're not going to freeze to death. The main room here, 55. That's keeping up. This room, 3. That's keeping up. This room, 70. That's, that's good. Everything looks great. Hey, we do have a drug lab. Did I want to queue up, um... I can't make any drugs. Do I need to research drug making? What do you need to make the basic... The basic medicine. I thought you just needed drug production, but apparently you need more than that? Well, I'll have to find that out uh, in the future. For now, let's see if Christine can recruit Router. Nope, 14% failed. Didn't it at one point she have like a 50% or something? Eight without a table. He's got a table right here, you doofus. Eat right there. Beautiful environment, feeling good, impressive cell, extremely low expectations. He should be recruited pretty soon. But give it another like couple days and he'll be uh, in the in the squad. I feel. God, all these cats eating our meat, though. Maybe I should restrict them to not eat our meat, and then they have to eat the corpses. That makes a lot of sense. I should have done this a long time ago. So, let's do this. Let's... How do we do this? Zone area. I think you need to... Clear... Not home area. Ah, uh, there we go. Expand... Clear allowed area, animal area one. Let's clear off the eatery. There. So now all the cats that are assigned to, assigned to Animal Area 1 will go eat the corpses out here, and that's what we want, because that's what they're there for. That's our cat food, not the meat. Not the fresh meat in the freezer. Much better. Constantine's up. Yes, Ocean is up now. Ocean should be... Yep, look at that. Ocean's already getting to work on making a button-down shirt. That'll be a huge help. How fast is this thing getting built? Pretty quickly, actually. Uh, next order of business, medicine. Looks like we have exactly, from the looks of it, zero medicine. Do we still have that medicine out here that no one collected? Probably not. Solar flare, that just shuts down all our power, I believe, right? Or no. Yeah, shut down all electrical devices. So there goes all our warmth in the middle of the winter and it's negative 20 outside. Uh, yep, it's, it's dropping fast. We're down to 20. There we go. Oh, look at that. The solar flare cut out our pot or our warmth here into this room. This room barely was staying warm enough as it was, and as a result, all of our plants that we're growing have just died. Thank you, solar flare. That was the perfect time. The perfect time. Not that it mattered because they weren't growing anyway because I had to shut off the uh, the light because it was using too much power. But as soon as these things are up, actually right now I'm at 3,000 surplus. I could have kept the light on right now, but alas. This is the way it goes. 
Everyone freezes to death and gets in a bad mood because of the solar flare. Let's see if I can just recruit Wado tomorrow, get the solar flare back on, and I guess that's I guess that's the end of this episode. It feels really short to me, even though I've been playing for a long time. Solar flare is ending, great. Heat's coming back on, it's gonna take a while to warm up. I think we can now turn this thing on, I think we have the power for it. Yep, we definitely have the power, even without these extra things. Everything's running about just fine. What is Christine up to? Sewing an area? Alright, what I really want her to do is try to recruit Wouter. Oh look, Addison's going around cleaning. We finally got to the point where we're catching up on the cleaning. That's a huge help. Get rid of the hideous environments that we have everywhere. Clean all the dirt. She's talking. Christine's talking to Wouter. Come on, come on, Christine, you got this. Woo him. Woo him, you're both naked. He cannot resist your wiles. Yeah! That's right, Christine wooed Wouter. Fantastic. What are we gonna call Wouter here? Medicine, social, research, craft, and God, he's a good character. He's a really good character. Let's call him... We'll call him... I think J... Uh, Dark. Can we fit this all in? D-A-R-K-M... Yes, we can. Uh, J Darkman. Welcome to the team, friend. Welcome to the team. That is huge. He is gonna be fantastic once he gets gear. But why is he going out in the freezing cold completely... Well, I guess he has pants on, anyway. To cut stone blocks. That's actually pretty useful, because we're gonna need those blocks to get the walls in. Okay, so, 47 minutes, that's probably good enough for this episode. We've recovered from the great, like, double raid of the last episode. Everyone is alive. No one is broken. Christine actually has time to... Just fool around here doing nothing somehow. She can't take the art. Uh, she could take the art table. I don't know why she isn't, but whatever. We'll deal with that next episode. We have eight people. Everyone's alive. No one is broken. Uh, we have some preliminary defensive measures going in. I need to get sandbags and stuff set up at all the entrances. I'm not like an expert of defense in this game, but to be entirely honest, I'm really, really weary or wary rather of looking up how to do expert defenses because I feel like this is the sort of game where if you knew how to do them, you'd never lose. you just build like 50,000 turrets, and you'd win every time. Uh, and I want to avoid doing that, because I want it to be fun and challenging. So I'm going to intentionally not spam turrets, like not spam traps, and just kind of play uh, s like, you know, like a normal person would play without trying to min-max ridiculous wall defense stacks and stuff like that. But yeah! I'm, I'm happy. This was an uplifting episode. I felt like the campaign, when I started this episode, the campaign might literally end during this episode, but it didn't. I realize I just talked about micromanagement for 50 minutes. Uh, but next episode, you know what, this cannot be a medical bed anymore. Uh, next episode, we can actually make some progress, unless we get raided. And I'm feeling like while I'm doing these closing remarks here, any second now there's gonna be like a meh 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 and a raid noise. I really do feel like that's gonna happen any second. I guess not, so. All right, well, when's we returning? There'll probably be a raid three seconds in, and all things uh, will end. But until then, we carry on. We press on in the face of overwhelming challenge, and also, unfortunately, murdered kittens. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Now it's almost time to get people uh, in better spirits. So as soon as my father... Whoa, 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 Cowboy is being attacked by Timberwolf. Cowboy has been bitten to death. What the... What the... Dude, Ash, get out here! For God's sakes, little Cowboy! Little Cowboy was just killed by a Timberwolf and freaking brutally eaten in the street! 